Absolutely. Tonight, we start things off with our five news game of the week, where the stakes were riding high out in the 3A1. Yeah, 4-0 Charleston, 4-0 Cedarville. Cedarville hasn't beaten Charleston in over 30 years, so could the Pirates break that streak tonight? Well, early on, Daryl Kadich, he's going to get the ground game going for Cedarville. Cedarville, he puts the Tigers on their heels, allowing Hayden Partain to rumble in his way, make it 6-0. Pirates two-point conversion, no good. Charleston on the move now. Brandon Scott threading the needle on the move, finding a wide open Reese Mercheca, who finally gets dragged out of bounds at the 10. Like the hustle there. Then Brevin Ketter, he's going to pound it in from the five to get Charleston on the board. They would convert the PAT to take a 7-6 to six lead. Then the two-headed monster combo for the Pirates added again. Partain with some great vision to get the Pirates close, and they would go on to score two plays later to take a 12-7 lead. But we get a shootout in Cedarville. The Tigers answer right back. Ketter, another touchdown, 14-12 Charleston. Cedarville back with the ball, back and forth, killing time on their next possession. Cody Dickens showing off his arm. Bradley Perkins brings it in, but following the catch, the Pirates go on to score. It's not a Cedarville highlight without Kadich getting some action here, taking the pitch outside. And there he goes, the two-point conversion to give the Pirates a 20 to 14 lead with less than two minutes to go in the first half in the 30 year winning streak. Well, it continues for Charleston. They move to five and zero on the season and a perfect two and zero here in conference play.